Hi, I'm Dr. Lynette Pretorius from the Faculty of Education. In this video, I will interpret four similarity reports from students' assignments that have varying levels of text matching. It is important to remember that Turnitin is a text matching software, not a plagiarism detector. As such, it is the responsibility of the assessor to interpret a similarity report to determine whether a breach in academic integrity has occurred. The first report is an essay submitted by a third-year student for a teaching unit. The purpose of this assignment was to evaluate the various components of assessment design to make assessment fair, valid and reliable. As you can see, this assignment has received a 3% similarity index from Turnitin. These matches are also all small, with no matches greater than 1%. When I examine the text, it is clear that the text ha that has matched includes in-text references as well as common phrases such as authentic assessment or technical terms such as the names of the various multiple intelligences. There are also no large chunks of text that matched and the student has clearly referenced where their ideas originated from using in-text referencing. As such, this assignment clearly demonstrates academic integrity. As a general guide, similarity indices that are less than 10% are usually indicating an assignment that demonstrates academic integrity, provided of course that the text has not matched a large chunk or that there are key parts that have come up as matching. The second report is an essay submitted by a third year student for a counselling unit. The purpose of this essay was to evaluate the physical and emotional changes that are experienced by adolescents, as well as potential school intervention programs for these challenges. As you can see, this assignment has received a 19% similarity index from Turnitin. 6% of this text matching comes from an academic publication, while the rest of the matches are reasonably small. When I examine the text, I can see that common phrases such as eating disorders, technical terms such as anorexia nervosa, and names of certain things such as the full name of the DSM-4 have matched in the report. Additionally, common phrases have matched such as conform to society's view of. When I look at the rest of the assignment, I also note that in the sections that there are larger chunks of text that have matched, these are usually either statistics or lists of common symptoms which cannot really be restated in other words. In each of these cases where large text matching has occurred, the student has clearly referenced their source. As such, I do not feel this assignment has breached academic integrity. However, the student may be advised to use quote marks for large lists of symptoms when the technical names cannot be changed. The third report is an essay submitted by a third year student for a science unit. The purpose of this essay was to discuss the disease causing mechanisms of two types of viruses. This assignment has a 29% similarity index, the majority of which comes from academic sources. These matches are all relatively small. This is actually quite an interesting assignment, as the person's immediate reaction when they look at the various matches is that this student must have plagiarised. After all, there are many sections where large amounts of text in the paragraph have matched. However, when I examine the text, a case for breach of academic integrity is actually much less clear. A large proportion of the texts that have matched are technical terms such as enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay or the names of the specific places or viruses. There are also a large amount of the text that are lists of symptoms, as we had in the previous report. The rest of the text that has matched appear to be predominantly common phrases such as within a few days or studies in non-human primates. Importantly, where large text matching occurs in paragraphs, these matches are often from multiple sources indicating that the student did not simply try to find and replace key words. They tried to synthesize different sources together. Additionally, all the student's sources are also clearly acknowledged. As such, I do not feel this assignment has breached academic integrity. However, the student may be advised to use quote marks for large lists of symptoms when the technical names cannot be changed. The final report is a piece of text that has been written by two PhD students for an academic publication. 
This text has received a 21% similarity index, which is less than the previous report we looked at. There is one match that was 7%, while the rest of the matches are relatively small. Now, given that this report has less text matching than the previous report we looked at, you would think that it would not have breached academic integrity. However, this report is actually a clear example of plagiarism. When I look at this text, I can see that there are large chunks of text that have come up as matching in the report. Additionally, in paragraphs where a large amount of matching occurred, the text also appears to come from the same source. While the students have included references for their ideas, these references are not included for all sentences. Rather, references are included at the end of paragraphs only. This is an example of unintentional plagiarism that occurs when students do not know how to use academic references appropriately. Additionally, it appears that the students have made no attempt to paraphrase the text from their original source. When I read this text, it appears to me that students have simply copied and pasted large chunks of text which could have been easily paraphrased. As such, I feel this text breached academic integrity. Importantly, I also feel that these students were not intentionally trying to plagiarise. Rather, they lacked an understanding of what is expected from academic writers and did not know how to reference appropriately. As such, I would provide these students with the Turnitin report to show them where the text matching occurred and would explain why this is considered plagiarism. I would also provide these students with links to resources to help them improve their academic integrity and give them the opportunity to resubmit their work. Additionally, it seems that these students also require some assistance with their academic writing, as this text is not cohesive and does not make a clear argument. As such, I would also refer the students to the academic advisor who would be able to help them improve their academic language and literacy skills for the future. Thank you.